The broadcasting department here at EKU can be challenging for a lot of students. Along with the regular tests and papers we have to turn in, we also have to do video production projects. There are a few students, however, that do manage to get wonderful grades, work a full-time job, and also find time for a social life. Brandy Fallbush is one of these individuals, and I recently had the chance to sit down with her and find out how she does it. Brandy Lee Fallbush from Louisville, Kentucky has attended EKU since 2007. While she does keep most of her focus on her grades, she also has a job as a Greek floor leader. I have a duty night every other week and um, a few Thursdays throughout the semester and also a few weekends throughout the semester. The job is not easy. Working as a GFL puts more responsibility on Brandy than a lot of students have. We have to do rounds in both Todd and Dupree to look for any kind of safety violations or anybody that's, you know, not doing something they, sh they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Other organizations that I'm involved in on campus would be my sorority, Alpha Omicron Pi. Um, currently, I'm not an officer because I'm about to graduate here in a couple of months. I'm also involved in NRHH, which is National Residence Hall Honorary. And um, I just inducted last semester, and I haven't really gotten too in-depth with it because of my other job at um, ABC 36. Starting as an intern, Brandy has now gotten a steady job in Lexington at ABC 36 News. Her duties and responsibilities here are equally as pressured as those on campus. At ABC 36, I'm the weekend editor, so I usually come in around 4 and turn on all the computers, usually check the rundown. Um, then I will start doing whatever seems the easiest to knock out first. I usually go through and look at that video and send that video in our system. And then once 6.30 comes around, I um, hopefully everything's already finished. And then I go roll tapes during the actual newscast. It's rolling. The newscast is when Brandy really has to focus. In her editing station, she monitors the news live and is responsible for displaying all videos at their appropriate times. One mistake on her part could throw off the entire program. After the newscast, I come out and I record for web videos and for promos that we put up for the 10 and 11 o'clock newscast. This part of the job is probably the most time consuming. Brandy can easily work 30 hours a week editing. She does enjoy staying busy though and always looks to the future. I had an epiphany. I went to a UK UT game a few weeks back and I was watching the photogs on, on the court and I saw that the ESPN shooter was a girl and she was my height. So I had an epiphany and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be a photog for ESPN. So since that day, which was a couple weeks back, I don't even remember, I have wanted to shoot for ESPN. That's what I want to be now. Ask me in about a week and I'll probably say something completely different. But no matter what career she does end up with, with her skills and determination, without a doubt, Brandy Fawbush will succeed.